Dimitar, who would be your standout player of the season this year? Well, unfortunately, I cannot put anyone from Man United. You know, I was thinking about it. I must admit, I have a couple of players. For example, Raheem Sterling for me. Yep. Uh, he seems to improve every year, doesn't he? He is unbelievable, to be honest. Because, first of all, he's played around the goal, a striker. And I you know, look strikers more than defenders. And I see how he developed from the time he was in Liverpool and then to Man City. Under Guardiola, you can see that uh, the development he's getting is unbelievable. The way he runs, he looks for the spaces, mm. the timing of his run, when he needs to pass the ball, pick up the head, see where the other players are. Not just cross the ball, he knows where to pass the ball, when to pass the ball. All these components that make good players. Also, of course, my other two, uh, Van Dijk yeah. and another boy from City, Bernardo Silva. To yeah, be honest, yeah. I played with him in, in Monaco mm -hmm. and again, you can see if you follow closely how he's developing uh, to be uh, best in his position. When, when you saw Bernardo Silva play at Monaco, did you think he could become one of the world's best players? Well, you don't think it like that because you look in yourself, you look your own game. Yeah. You just see the players around you and you know, okay, he has something, he has something, he can make me better, he can give me the ball so I can score goals, you know, <laughs> things like this. Yeah. Uh, and now you follow, you follow some of the players you used to play, especially if they're young players, so you can see how they develop. Mm. And this is one, of the, one of, the, of the players that I used to play with and he's a tremendous uh, developing. And he's still young, which is great. And it shows you, it's not coincidence, Sterling developing under Guardiola, Bernardo Silva also. So there is something method there to Guardiola to know how to develop young, young players. And in the end, of course, Van Dijk, who, who is up there with me, with Sterling, the player of the year because of the he pure... He improves the players around him, doesn't he, Van Dijk? Pure calmness on the ball when he gets it because some defenders, some players, when they get the ball, they start shaking. You know, what do I do with the <laughs> yeah. ball now? Where yeah. do I kick it? Just yeah. I don't have the ball. He's calm. He's like always looking for the ball, even if he's defender, because he knows where he's going to play the next time. Uh, and he's tall, intimidating. He can take care of himself. Organises as well. Organises. And he's, he's uh, captain material. He's captain material, and for me, defenders doesn't get the credit as much as attacking players. It's obvious, but uh, he deserves fully to be their contender, and it's going to be tough probably for 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 people to choose who is number one, and whoever they choose is going to be fully deserved. It would be nice to see a defender win it because of it doesn't course. happen very often, does exactly it? Exactly my point. Yeah. It's going to be nice because uh, I, I my father used to be a defender, so I have fondness for defenders. Uh, I like to watch them, especially if they are calm. Like, for example, Piquet mm. from Barcelona. He's pretty similar to, to Van Dijk. You know? Varane as well. Exactly. They have, they have that passion, uh, not passion, they have the, the thing to, to pass the ball calmly. Someone running towards me to take my ball, doesn't matter. I'm confident enough, I know what to do. Yeah. I pass it there, I move. Strong intelligence, you know, it, it's pure joy to watch them.